what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jacksonville Joe. We back with another Jacksonville Joe Morning Show, man. Hey, man, off the rip. First things first, dog, because we got an announcement around here. Welcome, Kyle Jewel, to JMP, bro. Hey, I saw that shit and said, what? Hell yeah, that's what's up. Hey, Kyle be snapping, bro. Y'all sleeping on Kyle, man. We're going to get him there. All right, man, so what else we got going on? What else we got going on? Oh, got my verse finished. Got the hook finished. Send it over to get mixed. Jekyll got his in finished. So that song going to be coming out soon. What else? What else? What else? Y'all saw that lineup for that cypher? Man, I'm excited about that one. That's what I was trying to tell y'all the other day. I was like, man, I'll wait let Jekyll tell y'all about that. Because, you know what I'm saying? He was waiting on one more thing. And that's probably something he wanted to announce anyway. That was a big thing. I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro. I saw that shit when I got home. But I didn't even know the lineup like that. I think he sent it to me in Discord, but he sent me the tracks too at the same time. So I saw it and I just went listening to the tracks or whatever because I'm like that with the music, man. Once I start working on something, I try to get that shit together and get it going. I'll sit right out here in front of this microphone until I finish a verse or I finish a hook and I don't care how long it takes. Um, I try to get shit done, you know what I'm saying? And if I get stuck, I'll just leave, I'll leave everything set up on that laptop and just come back to it later or whatever. I'm like, all right. Like, I had a minute yesterday where it was like, what rhymes with this? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, all right, man. I figured it out finally. But, yeah, man, it's just like, you know how it goes, man. When you're an artist every once in a while, you just get stuck. I don't really get writer's block, per se, but I get, like, too high or something. And I just be, like, thinking too deep. And I'll be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Conflicted. Twisted. Points. They missed it. McDonald's served breakfast all day. Damn, bro, I want a sausage biscuit. I'm hungry. Yeah, see, I, I, I'd be like zoning off like, yeah, yeah, let's get it. Let's rhyme, bro. Let's rhyme. Hickory dickory dock. <sighs> Hillbilly loves to cack. <laughs> Dan's asshole, that's what they keep on telling me. He gonna snap if that donut ain't jelly. He gotta go, cause he's fucking out dough to these hoes on the road. Boy, you is a loser, loser. <laughs> but we still trying to figure out why Loki going to men's bathroom screaming out, Cotton candy, sweet as gold, let me see your Tootsie Roll. He gets beat up a lot, I ain't lying. I seen it on the news. It was like, dude goes into the bathroom and starts abruptly singing, gets Mardi Gras. Hey, bro, sorry, man. You shouldn't have went in there screaming out, let me see your tootsie roll in a man's bathroom. That's kind of gay. You know, get your life together. Yo, man, if y'all haven't heard Nefarious's new song, go over to his channel and check it out, man. That shit is deep. That shit is dope, man. I was listening to that in the premiere last night. That's the only reason I haven't done a reaction to it. Holly sent me the link. Like, you gonna show up to the premiere? I said, yeah. Then towards the end of the song, I'm like, oh, shit, I can't even react to it. But I might still do a review to it anyway, see what's up. But if y'all haven't heard it, man, go over there and check it out. See what's up with it, man. Uh, dope artist, comedian, you know what I'm saying? That's the homie too. Shout out to Emily, that's fam. Uh, let's see, shout out to Holly, shout out to everybody else, man. Except for Loki screaming about Tootsie Rolls and dudes' bathrooms and shit, bro. We heard about you, bro. They called you Peter Hockalotticus. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta take a second to give somebody a shout out, man. I mean, like a whole Discord. Shout out to B-Squad, because them motherfuckers pull up, bro. Like, they show mad support, and I feel like they don't get enough support back their way. Like, I'm about to just start tagging y'all and everything. Yo, man, I want to give a big shout out to B-Squad, bro, because they be pulling up. They show mad support. Like, they all over the place, man. And, uh, yo, man, we really appreciate y'all. I know, like... I don't be around a lot in Discord and shit, but I'm just not a Discord type person. So if I do pop in, it's usually only for a few minutes, then I'm out. Or if it's in a voice chat or something, and we in there for a while talking, then I'm out. But yeah, man. But yo, they show a lot of support, and they really fucking cool. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell Chris keep them spikes up the way he does, bro. Because my shit just won't work like that, bro. It just don't. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I did, man. I did. All right, so... In other news around the world, today on Google this morning, I opened Google and it said, Jacksonville featured as one of the best places to live. A word. Well, let me tell y'all something. That's a bunch of bullshit. 
You come down to Jacksonville, we overpopulated. Uh, the workforces are bullshit. They don't want to fucking do nothing about nothing. They just fucking sit back and let everybody fucking suck. And then the good employees end up doing three times the amount of work. There's a place called Tent City over there in Arlington. And it's full of homeless people. And it's been there for shit since I was a kid. And, it, they, you know, they try to run people off and it ends up being right back in the same spot. They took everybody from the park downtown where all the homeless people hang out because there's a lot of homeless people downtown at that park, man. And uh, they took everybody from there, put them in hotels. Now, you know why they did that, so they can clean up that park and tell them that they can't come back in a couple days after them hotel money run up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's talk about that because as soon as they took everybody from that park and put them in a hotel, it was on the news that the park flooded with more homeless people pretty much thinking... That they were going to get put in a hotel too. Oh shit, I snatched the laptop off. Thinking that they were going to get put in a hotel too. Which they, I don't know, they might have. But the thing is, like... You take somebody homeless off the streets for a night or two, right? And give them a hotel. Some of them, that might be enough time for them to figure something out. You know, get a shower, find a job or something like that. Uh, you know, do whatever they need to do. But then there's other ones out there, man, who just, they're, they're, some of them people shouldn't be out there, man. I've walked through that downtown area. I've been to Tent City. I, I've never lived in Tent City, but I've been through there. I've known people who have stayed in Tent City. Arlington, uh, uh, the downtown park where there's homeless people, I had a homeboy that actually used to stay down there. So when I would go downtown to the probation office, I would shoot over there to the park and see what's good with him. And uh, shit got wild down there every once in a while, man. Shit gets wild, man. Like, you hear about all kind of crazy shit going on. Tent City, people be getting stabbed up. You hear about shit getting caught on fire, fucking around, trying to stay warm, moving the burn barrel close to the tent, f melting their shit, and then all kind of crazy shit, dude. Motherfuckers out there on drugs, but yeah, man, y'all right. Murder rate be high down here. It's a great place to live. Bring your kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we got a beach and a big dinosaur on Beach Boulevard that used to be Goonie Golf, but now there's just a big statue of an orange dinosaur holding the bone, like in, uh, I don't know what it was, like Pee Wee's, Pee -Wee's Playhouse or some shit. One of, one of Pee Wee's Big Adventures, one of those movies or whatever. But yeah, so they capping out. It's not a great place to live. It's not the worst place you'll ever live, but, you know, don't let them fool y'all, man. Y'all go to, you, you pull up down here and you move into the right areas, you're going to be all right. You move into the wrong areas, man, and it's just like, you come down here with kids and move into Brookview, your kids are getting in trouble. They go to jail. Um, you know, they probably gonna get hooked on drugs or start selling drugs. They gonna be getting in a bunch of fights. They gonna be getting in and mixing in with the hooligans in the neighborhood. And, you know, I've tried to even move back to that neighborhood and be like, I'm just not even gonna tell nobody I'm here. I'm just gonna stay over here and do my own thing. And that's it. It, it don't happen that way. Somebody pull up on you and see you. And next thing you know, everybody know you back in the neighborhood. Bro, I see Joe over there. He over there on Leon. Next thing you know, you got four or five cars in your driveway every day like what's up bro what's up bro nothing bro i'll get y'all ass out of here man like for real people just pull up on you dog like it's just like you try to stay away from trouble and you try to avoid certain shit and it's just like it's hard man and i'm sure it's like that everywhere though but this is a big city that's overpopulated and it's a little harder to stay out of trouble here, I think, because it seems like these city police, man, they just they just looking for any reason to take you to jail. You throw your arms up like this, like, man, well, I don't even know. That's that's resisting arrest without violence, and they'll take you to jail for that shit. You, you raise your hands around the police without them telling you to. Resisting arrest without violence, and they'll take you to jail. And, and most of them down here are going to fucking slam you on the concrete and shit. Like, and I've never been arrested in a nice way. Let's just put it that way. You know what I'm saying? So, been then had my run-ins with JSO where they boot bop my ass up around the rooms and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, there was a time at, uh, I'm not going to say the name of the place because I don't really want to get sued or whatever, but... Uh, I ought to sue they ass, but there was a time where it was like five or six cops took me in the back room, 
and just wallop my ass up, man. The people I was with, they was on the other side of the door trying to pull the door open to the actual place. Man, that door was already locked. We was behind two other doors. I'm, you know, getting tossed around like some dice and shit, bro. I ain't even playing. I was taking L's, dog. It was like, ah, they whooped my ass in here. Yeah, that shit wasn't helping. Yeah, then I ended up going to county that night, too. Um, as soon as I seen the judge, he just looked at me and my shit was all fucked up. And he was just like, did the cops do that? I said, hell yeah, they did. And he was just like, he just shook his head and pretty much like, they dismissed the shit. I got to walk right there. I was like, what the fuck? He's like, all right, man, you good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not right there, obviously, because I went to the county, had to get took over to the county from the bus. So I had to go back to the county, go through the whole processing shit to get released. Yeah, so it was about like two in the afternoon when they told me that, you know, they was dropping the charges. And it was about 2 a.m. when I actually hit the street again. And that's when I think that actually might have been the same night. There's a shell station downtown here, and I got out of jail one night, and uh, I'm going around the corner, and my brother had already told me that them homeless cats be ruthless at that gas station, that they done stormed the place one day when the dude went in the bathroom, was hopping over the counter and trying to steal shit <laughs> and all kind of stuff. So I'm over there, I'm trying to hit this pay phone so I can call somebody to come get me. And uh, I'm calling people and shit, and I'm just like kind of looking around and keeping an eye out. Man, I look over there and like the, the owner's arguing with these two dudes, right? I'm like, oh shit, here it go. You know, for some reason, he came he came from behind the counter to go outside to argue with these cats this time. Man, he was out there pointing at them and they was pointing back at him. And I look away, next thing you know, I look back, dude on the ground and they both just kicking the shit out of him. I'm like, bro, you getting kicked to sleep over there. You should just let them have them little zoom zooms and wham whams, dog. I don't know what's up, bro. Shit, I ain't taking no ass whooping like that over no 50 cent snack cake, dog. That shit's that hurt. But yeah, man, it's definitely not the greatest place to live, but I mean, it ain't the worst either, though. So, but yeah, Google be lying, bro. Featured as one of the best places to live my ass. Yeah, we got bridges and, like, beaches and water and shit like that. But, I mean, take all that shit away. Y'all got fucking escape from New York down in this motherfucker and shit. But, all right, man. Hope everybody has a good day. That's another Jacksonville Joe Morning Show. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. We out. Don't look, don't look, don't look.